She wears high heels, I wear sneakers. She's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers. Colt, you sing that song more than she does. Have some self-control. Yeah, try to have a little temperance, like Adam. That's what got him a $2,000 check. I think a lot of people associate temperance with alcohol, which is fair. Self-control is probably the best easy definition for temperance. It's really difficult to have temperance today because the world likes to tell us that if it feels good or makes us happy, we should do it. And that's not usually the case. Temperance is not easy. Temperance is hard. Temperance is choosing discipline. Temperance is choosing to be kind. Temperance is choosing to love someone even when you don't think they deserve your love. Adam's in the, the military. He serves in the National Guard. Adam was nominated by uh, his commander. Adam! Hey, what's up, Cole? Dude, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. I was a pretty free thinker when I was a kid, so I'd just kind of do stuff willy-nilly until it really? came back and bite me in the butt. I mean, I, I got in trouble a lot as a kid. I, I wouldn't change it for the world, but that definitely taught me to, to think about things before you actually do them. When I think of discipline, I think of uh, doing the right thing, even when no one's looking. Um, and that's something that my parents kind of brought to light when I uh, was still living with them. But the military has definitely helped me reinforce that idea. You see the right answer and you choose to do the right answer. Because I don't think a lot of people, they know the right answer, but they don't want to do the right answer because it's hard. People, people like being comfortable, but when you feel comfortable, you're not growing, you know? David Goggins was talking about an endurance race he did, and he was saying that his body was telling him, you've had enough, just quit while you're ahead and stuff like that. But in the back of his mind, at the same time, he was thinking, I'm only 40% of the way there. And I think he called it like the 40% roll. Like when your body feels like it's about to crumble, you're only doing 40% of what it's actually capable of doing. And I think that ties in a lot, not only like, with like physical fitness, of course, but just your daily endeavors yeah, and, and that kind of stuff. Like when, when you feel like you're overwhelmed or stressed or, or whatnot, it's okay, I feel this way, but I could always do a little bit more. My wife, she has this little quote that she goes by and she says, uh, work hard now so you can nap later. <laughs> I love that work. I mean, that's, that's, that's great, right? Like the, the happiness comes from self-delayed gratification. Like, we want, the world tells us, and people want things now, but it's like, no, no, no. Waking up early, going to the gym, um, all of those things is what brings the, the real happiness down the road. Yeah, I take that and I say, I'll work hard now, and then when it's time to nap later, I'm like, well, now I have to keep working. <laughs> so it just kind of never stops. Every day, Adam chooses greatness. Every day, Adam chooses love. Be temperate, be an Adam be a game changer.